Hello, I'm Keely Ann Dunn, and this is your solo journalism update at 11 o'clock. 95% of the flights leaving Southampton Airport are cancelled after regional airline Flybe collapsed into administration overnight. The failure puts over 2,000 jobs at risk. The airline is advising customers not to go to the airport unless they have made alternative arrangements themselves. In response to the collapse, the UK government has said it is working closely with the industry to minimise any disruption to routes operated by Flybe. This includes looking urgently at how routes not already covered by the airline can be re-established by the industry. Solent student Ruben Franco is one of hundreds of people now stranded by the airline's collapse. Uh, Flybe are actually the only airline that does flights from Southampton to Jersey and I was booked to be going home today for the weekend. However, with the collapse of Flybe, I'm not sure on what's going to happen. Uh, my flight home is still going ahead because it's with Flybe's partner, Blue Islands, who are still running despite Flybe's collapse. Uh, but my flight back was with Flybe themselves, so I'm unsure on how I'm going to travel back and also don't know how I'm going to travel back home from uni in the future. We will bring you more updates on this later today. A Hampshire resident has tested positive for the coronavirus and two pupils from Winchester are also in self-isolation after returning from Italy. Solent University has issued new guidance for students which is available on the university's website. John Lewis in Southampton has started a clothes swap. The popular scheme from the Oxford branch has widened to six other stores. The scheme is a chance for people to bring their unwanted clothes to store and exchange them for points for their reward cards. Many people across Southampton, Bournemouth and the Isle of Wight are reporting broadband outages, with Sky, Virgin and BT networks completely down. No information as to yet when services will be restored. Southampton Hospital Children's Charity Pajama Fairies is campaigning to get more people to come along and help them create new designs and pajamas for children in hospital. And finally, today is World Book Day and it's a chance for many children across the UK to dress up as their favourite book characters. It's a registered charity that tries to get every child a book. So what's your favourite book? Be sure to tweet us at Solon Journalism to let us know. That's all from me today. Tune in at one o'clock with Natalia for the latest stories.